All right, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new game. Today we're going to be checking out Jacent. Shout out to Home Run PR for sending over a preview code. We're going to check out the game here together. I'm probably going to post uh, preview thoughts as well, but this is just going to be uh, gameplay. Me playing the game for an hour or so and checking out what it's all about. Uh, this game was revealed at the Xbox Games Showcase. I think it was the Xbox Games Showcase anyway. And uh, yeah, there's actually going to be a worldwide demo uh, for people starting on the 28th of august this video should release on the 24th i think that's the embargo and the demo should be out running from the 24th to like september uh, sometime in september so yeah if you want to check out this demo for yourself you will be able to do that in a few days time so uh please do drop a like if you want to see this game on release you want to see me uh play the full game anyway let's jump in and check it out here together the music is extraordinarily loud here so i'm gonna have to uh, reduce the game volume i think but that gamma should be fine looks good to me anyway so that should be better anyway let's jump in cute little bird at the top so this game if you're curious it's kind of like a climbing puzzle game i believe and i just thought it looked cool when i saw it so when i got the email about it i was definitely like hell yeah i'm down to check this out i don't know how much of the game this shows and obviously this is not representative of the full game as you'll see down the bottom there uh, it's not fully optimized or anything but we're checking out the demo having an early look and seeing what the game is all about a french nautical term for a receding tide i did not know that actually but uh, there you go there you bloody go, eh? Let's do some climbing. I actually really love climbing in, in video games. Ever since, like, Uncharted, just platforming like that, I've always loved. Because Uncharted, just one of my favorite franchises of all time. When any game has, like, and Assassin's Creed as well. Assassin's Creed and Uncharted when I was younger were my two favorite franchises. So, you know... Um, they really did kind of get me addicted to this this kind of stuff. There's an anchor. A lot of beach chips. And I'm guessing that's us. What's up with my man's glasses? Beautiful. That's what we're going to be climbing, I assume. Just sent. A receding tide, my friends. See how I knew that? That guy's awesome. That looks like a bird, too. I, c I couldn't really see it, but that also looks like a bird. Are we setting him free? Is that the goal of the game? We're bringing him to the top to let him fly? Oh, we're gonna play. Okay, here we go. Chapter 1, Daymark. So yeah, I don't know a lot about this game, but I know that it's kind of a climbing, meditative... Um, puzzle game, I believe is how it's described. But other than that, I, all I know is what I saw from the trailer and I thought it looked really cool. So let's do some climbing, I guess. Huh. Oh, can we get in behind there? No. 
Let's just climb away then. I'm playing on Xbox Series X, by the way, in case you were curious. Um. Oh, okay. So that. Oh, okay. Cool. There we go. And we're up. How do I get... Does this thing just stay on me now? Or how do I connect to this one? Ah, okay. There we go. Press B to connect to that one instead. I feel like I'd only really need that if I was going down, though. But I guess if in case I fall... Okay. Sounds good. Let's have a look at the view from up here. Hey, it's quite pretty, isn't it? Hell of a view, son. Just sent the climbing game. All right. I'll roll with it. Can we get out there? I, I doubt it somehow, right? I don't think we want to get out onto that rope. There's a little log there. Maybe we can do something with that eventually, though. We shall find out. Anything that we can play with or interact with? I'm trying all the buttons here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Good to know. These carboners automatically secure the climb and show you the right path to take. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. Alright, the climbing seems fairly simple. Wind in that rope, boy. Alright, I am putting on my blue light glasses because it is quite a glare today. Ooh, what do I do now? Doesn't seem like there's any clear-cut way anymore. Oh, here. <laughs> there is. I thought I maybe have to jump out somewhere or something. But we're good for now. See that little red thing? Can I click onto that in some capacity? I'm not sure. Does this blue uh, rope have a limit to how long it goes, I wonder? I assume probably yes. But we'll find out, I'm sure, at some point throughout this uh, playthrough. Uh, the three small icons represent secondary pythons. If they're full, uh, they're available to use. If they're empty, the pythons are already attached to the wall. Okay. Wait. I can have four at once? You telling me I want to go down here? Is that the... debacle? Or no, I can go... I can climb up. Okay. So I, I can have four attached at once. Is that what they're trying to tell me? I, like, I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold to A to load a jump. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. Okay, I see. I see. That's why it had to get placed there. We loaded a Oh, we're going up, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I nearly see, that's why you gotta have those things, those pythons there, man. <laughs> Alright, load a jump and then release the jump. There we go. There we go. Okay. No, what? Whoa, whoa. Okay, this is getting scary now. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm assuming I'm going towards that, right? Why isn't he grabbing on? Ah! No! Up, take me up! Oh my goodness, that scared me. Okay. We're good. Everybody just stay calm, all right? There we go. I'm brain dead. All right, we got it, though. Why is there a stamina bar now all of a sudden? What the hell? There's too many things coming at me at once. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. The right hand gauge represents your stamina. Monitor and keep it topped up to present yourself from falling. Well, how do I keep it topped up? I'm, I'm assuming maybe a python or something. Is that how you pronounce that, by the way? Python, I'm assuming, but I don't really know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Plus, placing a secondary python anchors you if you fall. There we go. All right, now we're cooking. So I can, I can regain my stamina just while I'm I'm chilling here. That's pretty late. All right, we're good to go, though. We're good to go. We only have one left, though, so we need to be aware of that. I think, you, well, I don't know how it works. Like, you can only place one at a time, or, like, can I get those other ones back? I left them way back there. All right, load a jump. Release the jump. Yes, sir. All right, this is kind of cool. Just a straight up climbing game. Oh shit, we got to rest. Ah, you can just rest like that. Ah, that's easy, man. We are up, baby. Get rid of those things. Get out of here. Oh yeah, they do just come back, which is nice. Thank God. I thought I might have to find them around the world or something. Okay, there's a little way you can go up there, but there's bound to be something inside here, isn't there? 
Uh-huh. There's two separate ways you can go now. Okay. They're starting to split it, split it up. I'm going to go the inside way first. Or is it just two direction, two ways to the same place, I wonder? Maybe it is. That definitely is possible. I just assumed they would go different places and maybe there was an exploration aspect to going one way or the other. Nay. Yeah, this is kind of just a chill game, you know? Oh yeah, there is, look. A little note. Another sleep turning over stones at the old Delta. Harvest two belays, uh, two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old Cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw stuff this way. Oh, and I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker, tinker with it. Uh, still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, though. Cool. Wait, could I do anything else with that? Oh, there's more to it. Note to self, stop doing business with Rem. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the heights. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a foam salesman. That's what. This is like a chill version of Only Up, <laughs> right? This is genuinely a chill version of Only Up. That's hilarious. Uh, I just thought of that right now, but that is like accurate, I think. Yeah, see, that it, it did bring us up to the same place. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X. Okay. Cool. But what does that do for us is the question. Oh, no, that is something separate down there. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. All right, down we go. Do I just drop? Oh, I can just press L to go down. I see. Okay, yeah, I can. Down a little bit more. Run across. That's sick. All right, now we're getting places. I have a feeling this game's just going to keep getting, like, cooler as time goes on. I did not mean to do that, but... Uh, is that a lever of sort? Like, it's telling me to do something with that. Oh. Let's go back down where I came from, though. I don't want to do that, do I? I do need things, so it's a shortcut, do shortcut down if we need it, though. It's good to know about. There's something over here. What the hell is this? A shell? A seashell. Hmm. He has like a flashback showing how the place was built, maybe, or something? Oh, I think, I think I've seen everything now. I just need to quit out, right? I think it's just on a loop now. Yeah, it's on a loop, okay. Let me just make sure. I think it's on a loop, but it's kind of confusing. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, there, you heard a splash there, though, right? I, I, I glad, I'm glad I heard a splash, because otherwise, whoever jumped there was dead. I even... There we go. Okay, I was wondering, could I even reach that? But my man's athletic. We good. Do I even need to anchor for, for stuff like that, or can I just climb without anchoring? I'm assuming I can climb without anchoring, but it's just riskier. Ye cower things at the sawmill. Business has been slow at the restaurant. Restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music uh, night, rather. I thought it was saying last night music. Last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passerby this way. I miss seeing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with low tide and everyone agrees. So this is actually super interesting. Like this was a proper civilization. It's not, it's not just like a, a place where people came and built stuff. Like there, there was a proper community here of people with restaurants and everything. Hey Mo, listen, these things happen. I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders. Like I'm free for a romantic dinner for two. <laughs> Anyway, all good for your scaffolding. Since the village approves, I don't have much wood to choose from. After that new path to the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it while the currents allow. When the currents allow, rather. I owe you one. Thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run into old Sonia? Sonia? I think she's run, uh, rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. 
In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how, rom how romantic it will be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. <laughs> All right, that's cool. We're getting some more information here on the community beforehand and what went on. And I think we want to go down here. And I think we want to go over here. And then... Oh, no. I think I actually do want to go down a little bit more. And then run up and up. Come on, you could have caught that, buddy. You kidding me? All right, run this way, and run back this way, and grab on. You sh you shitting my dick, bruh? Come on, surely you could have caught that. I'm just wondering, am I like, am I doing something wrong here? Or am I just not having it in the correct position? Or am I doing like, am I not even on the right path at all? grab that you see like i feel like i would have grabbed that if if this was the correct way right am i doing this correct now i feel like yes but i also feel like i'm not doing it like super correct right like i don't know it feels like i'm still doing something wrong here we are getting higher though we are getting higher and i just kind of got to keep knocking them out on the way back over the other way like like i need to do this all right wait I think you need to go this way first, and then back this way, and then see, like, knock that off, right? And then we're a little bit higher each time. I'm a little bit, but this is taking some serious, uh, some serious work here that I was not expecting. There we go. We got a little higher now. All right. We're getting there, boys. We're nearly there now. I just need to get over to this one. Get rid of this one. Yes. Okay. I, I really think we're nearly there now. This has taken so much longer than it probably should have. But uh, I think we're nearly there. Got to keep getting a little bit higher. It's not like we got to get a lot higher. Yeah, come on now. We're nearly there. <laughs> Imagine there's just a way easier way to do this the whole time. And I'm literally just going through the most complicated process of all time to get it up to this place. I have a feeling that might be the case. But <laughs> I don't know. I can't see another way, man. We made it. Oh my god, we made it, boys. <laughs> Took a lot longer than I said. Oh yeah, look, they are just like kind of shortcuts down, I think. That'll take us back down to where we were before and we can just come back up then. But my god, did that take a lot longer than it probably should have. A lot longer than it should have. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell's going on there? What is that? Hello? Hell are these things? I have no idea. All right. Why is it still telling me up and down? I already know how to go up and down, brother. I think that's just glitched on the screen now. There we go. Place that. Load a jump. Release the jump. All right. I am stupid. I am stupid. Brother, just climb. Just climb, my little man. Load the jump. There we go. Ah, we're talking, baby. Get rid of that, and let's have a look out here. Hell of a view, boys. It's just complete whiteness. <laughs> Alright, how do I drop down? Okay. Gotta click the buttons. Push them buttons. Anything in here that we could get? Oh, hang on. A little letter. There's a little letter. It wasn't until I started my shift to prepare, prepare for the crossing that I realized it's my last crossing to supply Fumarolia. After that, folks will have to make do what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. Seeing smiles on people's faces, the little ones climbing the cliffs and diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All the things the old folks tell us after uh, tell us about sleep after sleep. Oh, so that's what they were jumping into earlier was the ocean, of course, but the tide has just receded now. That's a... Uh, uh, I get it. But enough of this yearning for old times. I've got a desert to, uh, desert to cross. I was thinking dessert for some reason. <laughs> and a caravan to prepare. It's not going to prepare itself, if only. Sorry, man. The things have just gone awry in this world. Maybe we're, that's what we're coming back here for, to look for our family. I still don't know exactly what's in my back pocket. Seems like some kind of bird, but I cannot be sure. Uh, the green little fireflies here. Cute. Give me that. Oh, this is going to be some serious climbing, I can tell. 
Oh, baby. All right, this game is intriguing me so far. Like, the the climbing and stuff is fun, but the this part that's really intriguing me is, like, learning more about this world as we're climbing up here. I feel like that's actually super, super interesting. I want to know what the hell's going on. Oh, we can perform a double jump. Shit, yeah. You kidding me? That's awesome. All right. But yeah, learning more about what happened to these people and what went on the whole time is just very interesting to me. There's no waves anymore, only clouds. Are you telling me I can jump and grab onto that? I, I don't think so. I think that's why it's so zoomed out. Oh, I really can. I can fire it up there. Shit. Let's go. That's awesome. Now we gotta jump. Skills to pay the bills, baby. Oh, we gotta do more? Or I can jump onto this. Yeah, it didn't work first time. Okay, there we go. Always safety first, brothers. Safety first. Gotta uh, strap yourself in. I want to try without doing that, though, just to see. But I don't think you can, because... I think you need the rope for certain scenarios here. Do I have to jump? We're cooking! Gotta get on the net. I think it's the nets that you can rest on, by the way. I don't know if you can rest on anything. What the fuck did I just do? Oh my god, I snapped my neck. Are you serious, man? I fell all the way down? Come on, brother. That was some bullshit. I should have placed a python somewhere higher up there, huh? I think we gotta go off to the left here. When do I get my stamina back? Once we're done with this part of the climb now, I assume? Is this because I snapped my neck? Like, I feel like that's harsh, dude. My stamina is pretty much nearly gone, boys. We need to make it this time. Okay, we made it. Holy shit, did we make it. We were cutting it close there, boys. We were cutting it real, real close there. Okay, so that's where it's going to get harder in the future. If you fail maybe once or twice, you're going to be struggling to keep up your stamina. What the hell's down here? Wait, is this the actual way, though? I think that might be the actual way, so let's check out here first. There's got to be something out here, too. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a little zip line down here once you do complete this part as well. This is so cool, guys. It's a little optional objective, I'm guessing. Hey, birds. How you doing, folks? I am stuck. What the hell is that stuff? What the hell's on the ground there? Are those guts? Oh, just plants, I think. Hey, look at that little guy. He's cute. Oh, shit. There's something down here. Hang on. Hey, little buddy. You're leading me to something? What is this? Hey, Bianca. You must have cast off for who knows here. Um... Who knows where, rather. I, I was so... I'm, I'm... My reading's trash today for some reason. I went back to the postal relay. Still no water. Surprise, surprise. Sally and Faz are still sorting through everything by hand. And I've gotten roped into helping with deliveries. Me? On Pebbleback? You can imagine what a sight that is. Even I'm laughing at myself. What is Pebbleback when it's at home? Still, why not, eh? It's a fresh start and I quite like seeing the world as the mail comes in. Well, it would be nicer if this damn pebble would just change course when I ask it to. I'm telling you, it's stubborn. Worse than old yam. Looking forward to seeing what the hell the pebble is and what we, how we ride on it. Honestly, though, what a nightmare anyway. I'm going to miss the tide at this rate. I left your mail by the door. Okay. There wasn't actually anything there. It looks like this is something because the fireflies are on it, but I don't think it actually is. It's just a, just a little collectible. Let's head on up. That I met, left your mail by the door, so I'm assuming that is this. Hey, Bianca, how are things down there? I hear your boss sailed off into the horizon. Good riddance. I never liked him anyway. Things here at the hut are pretty quiet. Not many people stop by these days. A seasonal job when there are no more seasons. I'm starting to get bored. You can tell because I've started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh, Ime. I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, I'm about as useful as a boy on dry land, but no surprises there. You've been gone for a while, so maybe you don't know, but everything here is closed, except for old Ennio's shop. He's still raising his chocos. Uh, Bassa tried to convince him to leave with them. Remember Bassa, the little terror at the back of the classroom? They got caught in quite a gale. It was amazing. No one's dared try again since. Do you think they're going to keep you on if people stop coming by? You might be seeing more folks soon, though. I came across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. I'd like that, but going off on an adventure with strangers? Ugh. 
Oh yeah, I heard about that. Heading for the clouds, huh? That sounds like quite something. I'd better stock the hold. I bet they'll come this way. You know what? I should join them. Or you should join them, rather. Come see me too. You don't have any excuses since you're out of a job. Hee hee hee. It would be a nice change from the few stray travelers that still come by. Hey, the other day another climber got stuck at Weeping Rock Pass. I had to go fetch them. If only you could have seen them. Stupid enough to eat hay as they say around here. <laughs> okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, maybe we can find that person then. This little guy's so cute. Can I pet you, buddy? No? Little loser. I can't pet you. I don't want you in the game. Alright. I'll have a walk, this is. I'll have a walk with it. Look at that view, boys. That is crazy. Wow. That is a long way down. We certainly don't want to fall. I would love to see what happens if I do just fall off. Do I lose all of my progress? It's not like only up in that regard, I would say. <laughs> that would be stupid, to be honest. Oh, can I jump across there? I don't think so. Can you, like, jump without... Yeah, you can jump without it doing anything. Without being attached to anything, rather. Oh, I saw an X. Oh, I see. You can knock this down. Cool. Hello. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor's master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 Octaves, Becca and Arlo's farm. Highfield to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world. As Emma would say... Hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there'll be other adventurers leaving from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever uh, left here was for the harvest festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. Oh no, my parents. I forgot about them. How do you forget about your parents? What, I'm going, what am I going to tell them? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if and only if I make it back alive. <laughs> of course, dear Bianca. Don't forget to bring snacks. Hmm, I'd better not say anything and I should bring snacks. What else? What do no people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure, what a journey without a logbook. I've got it covered. I plan to make like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us. Starting with this message. Farewell, my loud, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company, uh, company as I pondered too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks. We'll watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations. Adventure calls. You're leaving one of your creations? What the hell is one of your creations, may, may I ask? Might I ask, I should say. Do we want to go up here? Is this what? Is this one of your creations up here? Let myself drop? Is that wise? Uh. Oh, I see. I gotta go over here. Oh, Jesus, I just about made that, brother. I just about made that. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have taken myself off. Oh, there we go. I see. I can jump onto that. I see, I see, I see. There we go. All right. We're good. Everybody stay calm. We're good. Yeesh. All right. Making progress here, baby. All night long. This is what we do. All night long. Can I get through there? No, I'm guessing not. Weave it. Ugh. Gotta do the double jump, baby. Let's go. We're up. How far up are we? Are we nearly at the top? I'd say we're nearly there, to be honest. Little, uh, little workshop here. This is so cool, man. These people really just had, like, crazy, uh... It's just basically a whole different type of people. A unique civilization. I can really appreciate. It's cool as hell. What is this thing? Is this the unique creation she was talking about? Let's see. See if anyone's alive.
Ah, oh, what the hell is that? The bloody squirtle. No, it's not. It's... What the hell are you, bro? Gonna teleport us or something? <laughs> it more just brought life back to this whole building. Chapter two, migration. Okay. Check it out then. And climb up this plant that just came up here. I'm guessing we're gonna zip line back down, but holy hell. What is going on here, man? This shit's crazy. Definitely a little bit uh laggy with the FPS there. Boom. Oh, wait, what did it say? It didn't give me... By using your companion, you can see your ne next objective. Is that what it said? Generate an echo. Oh, shit. That is dope. So our companion is just a big part of this, isn't he? I thought he was just uh, some helpless little creature we were trying to save, but no. He is going to help us. But now I'm wondering what the hell was inside before. We, we had the option to go inside, but we never ended up going in there. I guess maybe we'll see on... Uh, we'll see eventually, I guess? Is that really just the way? Like, there's just different routes to go for each thing? Okay. We can jump across there now. You can actually... You don't actually have to be on it to do it, which is cool. Okay, so it start, the, the lower your stamina is, the it starts to go down then. Okay, I see. Like, the white part starts to come in then. And you can't gain it back until you uh, until you stand up. Until you're no, climbing no longer. Ooh, little cave down here? The hell is this thing? In this building? I don't know. Whoa, Jesus. Ooh, what is this? A little rock formation? Place that on top. Cool. Those things creep me out. I don't know what the hell they do. Oh. Lynn's gone to the high uh Lynn's gone to the heights to ask to extend the site. With the boss gone, the wind's gone out of our sails when it comes to digging. If it's not such a bad thing, lifting boxes, crates, and barrels is my area of expertise. But shifting their old stones? At the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knees start quaking. Anyway, I was just getting used to the idea of working with archaeologists, making myself useful again, and already the work's dried up. I doubt it'll start up again. I don't see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things in low tide? Is Dee Dee still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm so happy to hear from you. We miss you so much, Dee says. I'm homeschooling her, and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't even remember learning that. I gave Dee a homework assignment about the old altar to keep her busy for a while. She's supposed to copy the design I ended up going with her. It had been ages since I'd last ventured behind the village. I'd forgotten how dark it is. But you know, Dee, she's gutsy and she's enjoying driving into the past just like you. Speaking of which, have your archaeologists finally found out how tides work? They've been digging for a while now. Get it? You know when they're, you'll be able to come back up here. I'm not sure that she ever did, my friend. Okay, so I can't go that way. I think this is a dead end as well. This is just a... Well then. 
I've really fucked up, haven't I? All right, so I want this, and then we could have just gone this way. <laughs> the whole time I could have just freaking gone this way. Oh my god, that hurt. Bro, are you fucking joking me? Like, what are you doing here? All right, and then... Oh, okay, we can grab onto these rocks. And straight over the boat. Nice. Grab onto the boat then, brother. There you go. Jesus. All right. Now we're making some progress. I'm not sure this is the best game to watch for YouTube either, but I just wanted to show you guys what the game is all about. I'm definitely going to do like an actual proper preview coverage video where I talk about it, my impressions of the game and what I think of it overall. Because um, I think that would be more beneficial for you guys. Um, but for now, I am enjoying playing it as well. Like, I'm really enjoying uh, my time with it. Oh, we can generate an echo on this thing, is it? Aha! Uh -huh, cool. Cool. That's badass. Grab onto these little green freaks. What the hell are these things? They're poisonous. Don't touch them, young lady. Young man. I don't know. Man or woman or what. I think it's a boy. And the laugh kind of sounded girly. That's what threw me off. I think it's just a young boy. His balls haven't dropped yet. His voice. Not deep yet. All right, let's generate another echo, my friends. Come on, son. You got this. Come on, climb your little heart out, son. And climb. Yes, sir. Come on, keep it lit. Keep it lit now. All right, let's let's rest. Let's rest. My guy's about to. Well, we didn't need to actually. We're right here already. There's also a place on the other side of this, though. So, that might be where we have to go. Jumping or double jumping allows you to go higher without attaching. Oh, so you're telling me I can go up here, potentially. Wait. Oh, nearly got that there. There we go. Hell yeah. That's how it's done, son. What is this? Another little shell? Another one of these bad boys? You kind of just hear it more than actually see anything. It's like a flashback of, uh, hence it's an echo, you know? Kind of getting a little, uh, a little feel of what was happening before. Felt like this was a little buzzing bar, restaurant, pub kind of style thing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, there you go. I don't like the way that it automatically rotates because I'm never sure if it's over or not. I'm like, did we see it all? You know, I hate that kind of stuff. All right, there's nothing else out this side then. You're telling me it was a waste of time. No, I'm just kidding. Good to get to know uh, the place a little bit more. There's a padlock on that, is there? Well, I do need to think we can do anything with that, but that we can do something with this, potentially an echo. I was going to say, I don't think I can make that jump without this little guy coming over to help me. And help me, he did. Jump, son. There we go. Generate that echo, son. Jump! I love the way there's like a new element to it now. Probably going to be a few new more elements as well before the uh, time is out, I would assume. Jesus, I didn't know whether that was going to work or not. Wait, I think I see where we're going. Maybe we weren't meant to come over here in the first place. We were supposed to go over this way. Okay. I think just a case of misdirection. Jesus Christ, not exactly what I was trying to do there, lads. There we go. That works, though. Yeah, this is the way. Okay. I understand. All right, let's rest for a second. Get my stamina back. It did work. Get on up there, son. Come on. Let's place, a, place one of those bad boys there. I think we can reach this. Yeah. You're damn right we can, son. 
Why'd you miss that one then? That makes no sense. Why'd you fucking hit the first one and miss that one? You donut, yeah. Are you fucking joking me? You little idiot. What are you doing here? I'm gonna run out of stamina here soon. I was gonna say, if you if you miss this, I'm gonna freak out. Alright, come on. Cannot miss this one. Are you shitting me? Like, what are you doing? How have you missed that one twice, man? Alright, I'm just going for this one first this time. We need to get up. We need to get up ASAP, dude. Come on. Replenish that stamina. Let's go up. We're not going to make it, are we? Oh, we should make it. Dude, if he'd fucking actually go, we'd make it. <gasps> just go. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I'd have liked it to be, man. All right, get off me. Get off me, the stupid rope. We made it. What the hell is this contraption? This one get, brings us back down. I know that much. But this one, I feel like, brings us up. So let me just have a look around here first. I feel like there's something. There'll be something around here. Auntie Ida, you have to talk to them. I want to go to an uh, go on an expedition to the desert too. Everyone always says I'm too young. I don't care. Neil's going. He's only a bit bigger than me. Plus, he's mean. I have to stay at the port gathering stinky old seaweed and doing my homework. I bet cleaning the canals with you would be more fun. I want to see what else is out there, but my parents never want to let me leave the village. Can you talk to them, please? Oh, D, believe me, sweetie, you wouldn't have much fun scraping the pipes of the Great Basin, that's for sure. You won't like what I'm ab about to say, but be patient. You have plenty of time to grow up. You'll be sailing off to the plane soon enough. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, though, but we have no choice to, uh, but to go with your parents, so best not to quarrel with them in the meantime. I don't fancy crossing the plane with the uh, three scowling faces, your favorite auntie. Uh, everyone's mad for the adventure, huh? Everyone's just absolutely mad for the adventure. Okay, there's one over this side, too, though. Moving sail, carabiners, fish hooks, sound shells to give away or swap for pre uh, provisions, repairs and mending, nets, harnesses, bubble stitch, sand stitch, any type of knitting, ask for any of. Lost medallion, shiny and round. Reward cake. Job wanted. Housework and pebble sitting. Choco sitting and babysitting. Accepting all vertical work. Volunteers wanted for expeditions to the clouds. Pebble shuttle. I really want to see that. No animals. Come on, that's bullshit. Let's see if this just takes us straight up. It does. Is this the right way is the question, because there was two of these things. I don't know if that's the right one or not. I think they both take us up to the same place to be quite perfectly honest with you. That's where we want to go. Not sure I can reach that, pal. Not from down here, at least. I wish I were a choco, nothing to do but be round, fluffy and cute the whole sleep long. No job and no existential crisis about the future. It'd be more relaxing than going door to door, but someone has to bring the old folks water. Remember old Coco? She made me listen to and dust off her shell collection. She's as deaf as a post, so someone should listen to them once in a while, she said. One of the shells almost crumbled to dust. They miss the ocean, just like we do. Are things any better with your family? Are they still upset? No need to tell me if it's too difficult to talk about. I may not be there to support you, but I'm sending waves your way. Aha, that Coco. I still I admire you. I definitely wouldn't have the patience. Things uh, things with my parents are still choppy. They let the ocean disappear, but they don't want to understand what happened. We're not responsible, they always say. They've left for the cauldron's oasis. They'd requested the furnaces so they could join some of their friends, but spots are hard to come by. At least things have calmed down for me since they left. So what happened? Is this like some global warming thing? Like, they're not taking responsibility? Is this like some play on global warming, I'm assuming? Can't get up there. Can he get up there just yet? Unless I can do it with a, a little bit of a python action. I'm not sure, potentially. Oh, there's something here. Another scroll, editorial. In this issue, we'll be taking a look at the creature that gave this near cynical publication its name, Brellas. While they've come before in our issue on endangered tunnel wildlife and in our special edition, Inhabitants of the Great Reservoir, we've never dedicated an entire section to them. It's high time we rectified that. Brellas are best known for their slow and majestic flight. However, they begin their lives clinging to rocks in this first stage of their life. They resemble flowers known as shrinklets. From within the shrinklets come sparks, small glowing creatures that fly through the darkness of the caves and tunnels in groups. How many octaves does it take for a spark to go into a brella? 
How long do Brellas live? Has anyone ever seen one die? Much has been forgotten about Brellas, despite them being witnesses to the tower's ancient past. At the time of writing, they've almost completely uh, disappeared. We only know about sparks from children's stories. They're said to kidnap naughty children, and shrinklet sightings are exceptionally rare, only occurring in the remotest tunnels. In the following pages, we've attempted to piece together some facts about them. Did you know, based on the information we've gathered from the team's water surveyors, who sometimes encounter these creatures on their maintenance rounds, and who we are very grateful to, being near Sparks makes you feel weightless. So be sure to behave yourself, kids. Let's hope that drop in activity in recent cycles will give Shrinklet, Sparks, and Bellas the peace, quiet, and space they need to thrive. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay. Definitely loving learning more about this world. So that is where we would have came up beforehand. Is there anything else we can do around here? Something down here? Oh, it lit up the whole thing. Oh, there's some creatures up there. Yeah, I don't think it actually does anything for us to progress the story, but that's just a cool visual sighting there. Hey, there's a ladder here. I didn't even see this. Thank God. We're pushing up, baby! Yeah. I can't make that jump? Ah, oh, I can move on the ledge. I could make that jump. Come on. You kidding me? For sure I could make that jump, son. What's this? Logbook 12 octaves and one prime after the Shasand. Usually just getting to low tide for my old lighthouse is an expedition for me. It's hard to believe that this time the adventurer's way was just getting started. Uh, at the meeting point, I found myself waiting uh, with Met, a young woman from these parts. Well, young. Younger than me, anyway. Her parents have already left, but like other people our age, she wanted to stay. That made ripples with the older generation. Leaving the family nest is no easy thing. I don't know Met well, but we already have something in common. The widening gap between us and our parents. She seemed relieved to see me. For once, I was lost for words, smiling awkwardly and still red from the exertion of getting there. With my pack all undone and my hair sticking up every which way, probably. Uh, nice one, Bianca. Not socially awkward at all. But I was just as relieved uh, as she was to know I wouldn't be setting sail alone. To my surprise, old Saul joined us too. I don't think we'd exchanged a single word before now. Will an old schooner like him be able to keep up? Ever since I was little, Saul's always been the old hermit who lives up on high. He used to scare me. He would come down to the port sometimes like a spider sliding down a silk thread. The other kids and I would have fun running away, screaming at the sight of him. Even now, my knees started quaking as I saw him lumbering towards me. We set off as a group of three. Since no one else came to join our crew, I soon realized I'd been worried for nothing. Saul leads the way, an odd figure with nimble feet who climbs the cliffs with amazing ease. Met follows behind, brimming with energy. Suddenly, I feel like the old one. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me just check if there's anything here before I go on my way. Aha! See, I don't want to miss this, man. Let's go on up. Let's go on up, baby. Take me up! Oh, that wasn't actually as high as I was expecting. I was expecting that to take me way up for some reason. I don't know. Uh, oh, I can actually reach this now. Shit, okay. That didn't work? Come on. You kidding me? How'd that not work to, to get you out of here, bro? There we go. There we go. Nicely done, sir. We're making some progress now, baby. Get on up there, son. Come on. Come on. Hello. What do you do? Not much, I guess. This is a little bit creepy now. Just a touch. Go on in. Hello, hello. Oh, what is this? Seems like something important though, right? Let's let go of that. Let's start the old 1-2 uni flu. What the hell does this do? One, two, uni, flu. What does this do? See, it's blue, but I can't do anything with it. Wow. All right. I think it's just for show. Old civilization, civilization gone past. Okay. This thing definitely leads the way up. 
Ah, yes. Here we go. We made it up. Sweet. Okay. This place is crazy. We're into a weird looking cave now. I'll tell you that much. I think it actually might be a girl. Like the, the grunts and everything are way too ladylike for me to think this is still a a boy. I don't know. It just seems like... Right? Am I tripping? Have they told us? I don't know. Jesus, I nearly fell there. That would have been bad, especially because I had the thing on, so it would have actually worked. We got another shell. Okay. Show us the past, brother. Show us the past. Is this like a water windmill? I don't know. Looks pretty intricate in its design. Some of these things look super weird. Like they have wheels of bikes on them and all sorts of weird shit going on. But pretty cool. Double tap or B to climb the rope more quickly. That was cool. Holy shit, nearly. <laughs> that was crazy. Jesus. All right. Did I even come the right way? Yeah, I think I did. All right. So we're going to go pop pop. No, I missed. <laughs> Close though. All right, we should get it this time. There we go. We're cooking. What's well, cooking? Good looking, eh? Get on up there, son. Get on up there, boy. Or girl, I don't know what your gender is. All right. Pretty. I've never seen so many people coming from da down from the heights, and some are stopping in low tide. Maybe my situation is not so hopeless after all. The ocean provides a patient heart, as my mother used to say. Maybe I'll finally manage to meet someone. It's been slim pickings here. Apart from old Yom, maybe. He makes my heart flip with his dimples, calloused hands, and that plaid shirt he always wears. Yom the baker? I hope you're joking. I can never tell when you're pulling my leg. Anyway, I'm leaving the tower too. Sorry, Bassa. I don't know how else to tell you. I wish we could clip our caravanners together like we used to before running aground on the old pier. I wish I could convince you to come with me, but that's how it is. I'm crewing up with the neighboring village. They found me a spot on one of their pebbles. We'll see each other again somewhere down on the plain, won't we? Don't be angry with me. I'll miss your letters. Oh, man, this, uh, this is kind of depressing. In certain scenarios. It's definitely kind of depressing. Alright. Anything in here? Nay, hey, we are but men. We are but men! Rock on! Alright, we've made it to a new location. Have we completed chapter 2 here? Potentially. This is a long-ass demo as well. Like, they really give you some game time here, don't they? In this preview. Like, this is proper. Pretty awesome. That thing's so cute. Alright, that's where we're headed next, I guess. Alright, I'm, I'm definitely invested. I, I want to see this through. 100%. Like, a, it's cool. I'm intrigued. Alright, but that's where we're going to end this video, guys. If you want to see more, you want to see me do the full game when it comes out, and you want to see me do a preview, let me know. So, Chapter 3, Solstice. Maybe it's the first three chapters or something that they show. I'm not exactly sure, but thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a big like if you want to see more of this game, and uh, I'll see you next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.